Welcome to making a demon claw with recycled cardboard in a laser cutter. Now that I know all these pieces fit together, I'm going to turn this CAD model into a cutting path, recycle cardboard, put everything into the laser cutter, including the file, and get it cut out. So, let's turn it into a cutting path. We're going to have a look at the top view and plonk it down there. And I'm now going to output that as a DWG file or a PDF file. I'm going to save that as hand drawing and I'll see you in the recycling center. Okay, so I'm looking at uh, old cardboard pallets here and I found two pieces here. Uh, these are pretty flat. A few creases here, I'm going to ignore those. And quite a nice piece there. So um, we'll see what we can do with those. Okay, so here I am with the laser cutter. Um, this is a uh, Laser Pro. So what we've got here is a the vector of the layout, that is the PDF that is the same size as the laser cutter bed. Um, we're using uh, a space, so minus five there to 40 there, so that would be 45 across and down. Well, we're sort of stopped about here because that's damaged, but we've got this area. So we're going from naught to 31 here. Just check, so from naught, and I said to 45, that goes to 50, so we should have enough space. Okay, so time to engrave. I'm gonna check my settings. My settings for cardboard is three speed 90 power. So the thing about cutting cardboard, corrugated cardboard, is that air gap there. And what can happen is you've actually got quite a nice flow of oxygen coming through those cor um, those gaps in the corrugated cardboard and um, that's actually going to cause a fire. So you've got to keep an eye on this very, very carefully. It's been going on for about six and a half minutes, so not too long. And um, everything seems to be going quite nice and smooth. Uh, keeping an eye on it, of course, never leave this, never leave a laser cutter unattended or very, very bad and expensive things happen. Okay, uh, some things are definitely falling out. So I know it's cutting through. There are some places that aren't cut through. So may you need to go over it with a knife. But at the moment, it's looking quite neat and everything seems to be there. Okay, um, let's get started on this one. So we've cut all the pieces out. And now it's time to make it, assemble it, see if it works. I've got a workspace here and I've got a the CAD model that uh, we looked at earlier. Um, let's see if this works. So my hands should now go in here. And then if I take this and drag it, it works. And then hopefully... I should have spin that. Yeah, that's working really nicely. <laughs> okay, and shrink. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, joking aside, apologize if my head keeps dissolving. I'm not sure what's happening. So uh, in the end, I um, cut quite a few pieces and uh, some spares. If I tip this, it's going to make everything black. Is ah, sorry, I'll clean it. Okay, so there's a bit of a mess there. So I guess the first thing, let's organise. There's always one piece, isn't there? There's always one piece. Okay, as you can see, these are all the pieces and more few uh, spares there so what we're doing is hang on rip so what we're doing is um, we're going to uh, put all these pieces in order to make this uh, the thing we're going to start with the syringe housing okay I'll stop now so I'll just uh, shrink that up there <laughs> this is where I realize I haven't got the tube. <laughs> so uh, let's go and get some tube.
Okay, so huh. seem to be disappearing. Um, so a little bit of a way, bit of silicon tubing there, and some bamboo skewers, and of course a bit of modelling glue there. So uh, I guess what we do is we start to make, and let's clear this area. Okay, to start with, we are going to make the syringe, the, the syringe holder there, there, we're going to make the syringe holder there, 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 and the end caps there, 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 I keep saying there. That little thing there, that one there, and the syringe holder there. Let us move that back. <laughs> Never gets old. Never gets old. Okay. So, now the cardboard I recycled is in two different sizes which is making life a little bit difficult so I'm going to use the smaller size cardboard that's the second one I cut as much as possible because the thicker one is almost a millimetre too thick for those holes so I have made this too large for that and in the fusion model I just put pushed them together and forgot to combine and cut which is really annoying and what makes it worse is I don't have a knife to trim it so I'm going to use side cutters which are completely the wrong thing to use, I would have thought. However, we will persist and carry on. So these will uh, be pushed by this part of the syringe. So what we need to do now is make the holders for the body of the syringe. one there and we'll just let that glue in place so we have four um, check again so we have that one there that one there there and there there and there there and there so there should be eight pieces in total one two three four five six seven eight uh, so we are on track the holder is going to be under a lot of stress we start moving those syringes around so we really want to get 
quite a bit of glue on that. So the syringes first can go straight into here. Let's do this part on to this part first. So, whoops. Let's secure that in there. That is going to go like that. This will go like that. And we'll then move that backwards and forwards. So I'm going to take that and put that in there. I'm going to glue that to the underside. there that goes there that goes there I think that is it okay so now we've got the top-down camera we've got the webcam we've got the magic um, <laughs> augmented reality cam uh, we've also got a camera there there that is now looking here and can see exactly that that augmented reality cam is a pile of nonsense as we do the tube the tubin of the tubin of the tubin of the tubin <laughs> yeah now, this isn't on the augmented reality cam so shrink that augmented reality thing in and we need a tube from there to there, there to there, there to there, and there to there. That that one might be a bit short. So uh, when it's short, that might be a problem. So I think a nice longer tube, maybe from there to there. So let's do the long ones first anyway, so from here to there. Right, I don't even have enough tube for the rest. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? It's like it's doing it on purpose to upset me. Let's do that one to that one first. that 
that one. And, and these should be open, okay? If the other one is shut, then these should be open. You can trim them and you're gonna have to. Lube that up a bit and shove that in. Okay, does it work? Yes, it works. Well, there you go. I've succeeded. Okay. Let's see if that one works. Yeah, that works. I've actually been out to get more tube. Uh, just to finish this off. Here we have the final article. Let's see if we can turn that around for you. Okay, so open, closed. Move that limb up. Move that limb up. And then the hardest one, which is that one, the swivel. go. It is amazing what you can do with cardboard. It's a great modeling material for working prototypes. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you very